If your body count low, that means your bank account probably low. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Time in the Body, AKA DTB, AKA disturbing these bitches, cause that's what I do. And we about to talk some trash. What's the wildest thing you ever eaten? Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> I'm not like gay, I don't like bitches, I'm not a lesbian, so for me that's wild as hell. Like bitch, why would you eat a pussy? But in my case, it was some money involved, so I had to do what I had to do. You know, I had to, you know, I had to do what I had to do, bitch. They said that's what he wanted, a little threesome. I don't, I'm not into girls at all. I don't like bitches. I have fucked a lot of bitches, but it's always like some type of money or you like the nigga want a bitch. And I'm like, okay, let's do a threesome, but I'm not into that shit. So yeah, that was wild. What's the corniest thing a guy has done for your attention? Ugh flowers corny that's cheesy i don't i don't want flowers i feel like that's like the most corniest brokest like that's the lowest budgetest like bro flowers come on now you could have they, they sell flowers on the side of the road you could have paid three dollars to get them flowers from the mexican chico these flowers no don't come bring me no fucking flowers babe i don't want no flowers i'm so sorry dad no, i got you flowers like nigga what i slapped that shit out his hand what the fuck i'm gonna do with flowers they gonna die in my four days three seven days bitch they gonna stink up my house, I'm gonna have all type of flies and shit. No, that don't hold no value. No, I don't want no flowers. I'm sorry. If, if it ain't come from the mall, I, I don't want it. Do not get me no motherfucking flowers. If he had like a little hundred dollar bill wrapped around every rose, that would have been so fucking cute. But that's not what it was. It was just flowers. I could tell he pulled the little, the, 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 the price tag off. You know when you see the little sticker? rubbed out maybe that means that you was embarrassed by the price hidden talent oh i like this one can i show y'all my hidden talent it's not too hidden because i do it on instagram all the time but <clears throat> besides glizzy gobbling can y'all see that <laughs> do i need to like like left right right left left right together together one, two, three, four. Like people go so crazy when they see me titty bounce. They're like, oh my God, how do you do that? I have much little control. And that came from fucking all the niggas. I know how to work my body. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Period. Does body count matter? No, why would that matter? I'd rather somebody with a higher body count because I feel like then you know how to fuck. People that have less body counts have less experience. You've been with one bitch your whole life, bitch. You don't know what to do. Bitch, you ain't watched enough porn. You ain't fucked enough bitches. You ain't went through enough yeses and nos and oohs and ahs to know what the fuck to really do. If you really want to know, niggas that got the best sex is the ones that fuck the most bitches because they have the most experience and they know, you know, they, they know what they doing. I don't want no nigga that don't, ain't fuck nobody. That mean, first of all, that mean you ain't got no money. Cause bitch, if you had money, you'd be fucking everybody. If your body count low, that mean your bank account probably low. My body counts 2,000. With me fucking 2,000 niggas, right? I'm the best bitch to please you. Cause I know what niggas want. I know what they like. I done fucked enough niggas to know like, okay, niggas like when I do this. When I do this, they make a little high sound. When I do this, bitch, they don't be that crunk. But bitch, when I do this, Bitch, they get loud. You know what I'm saying? I have experience. It's like experiment. Like, bitch, I done experimented so much with so many different niggas, bitch. I know what everybody like. Baby, you, the, you fuck me, it's gonna be the best fuck of your life, okay? Like, I specialize in niggas. I feel like the more niggas you fuck, the, the better you fuck. Niggas be telling me. They be like, bitch, my girlfriend be using teeth. Bitch, how? My girlfriend, man, she don't even know how to squirt, bitch, how, what? Like, you don't even know how to squirt. Like, that's so basic, like, come on. But when you fucked enough times, bitch, you know how to do different shit. Bitch, I put my leg behind my head right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I got all type of positions a bitch don't even know about. And bitch, like, where the fuck did you find this? What port, wait, how? Baby, it's cause I've been fucking. And I fucked a lot of different niggas and a lot of different niggas be doing a lot of different shit. So I'm gonna bring the best of each nigga to you. Does size matter? Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. The size of your motherfucking bank account matters. If, if it's very small, it's, not, it's just not gonna work out between us. I cannot fuck 
with a small bank account, nigga. Cause that's the only side that mattered to me. Imagine fucking a big, big dick nigga just ramming your shit every goddamn night. You don't even like his ass, but you just taking it because bitch, he's paying all the bills. It's like, eh, it's hard work. That's more hard work. I take the little dick, less work, less stress, bitch. Put the, uh, let's go. If he got a little dick, I be, I could, bitch, it's, it's like sucking a finger, bitch. He gonna get the cheeks. Don't have the. Oh, how to get the cheek action, cause it's, it, it can't even reach the throat. What I'ma do? Hey, he can't even fuck me from the back, bitch. I have the missionary, I gotta ride the dick, like. But you know, babe, none of that matters because I love you. Now take me shopping in your house. Are your ex's ops off limits? Shit, not if they rich. <laughs> Nobody is off limits. Nigga, if you got money, baby, I don't give a fuck if, bitch, you shot my ex. We'll shoot that nigga together. It's not about him, it's about me. I gotta be selfish out here because these niggas are selfish. A nigga will fuck my op. What you wanna do? Let's run down on that nigga. Matter of fact, I'ma call him, I'ma tell him, bitch, I'm sorry, let's make up, bitch, and we rob him together, bitch. What you wanna do? Hell no, bitch. There ain't nobody off limits, bitch. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> do you go through phones? Absolutely not. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, if you're taking care of the house, if you're taking care of me, baby, I don't even want to know. A bitch could be like, oh, girl, you seen your nigga? I didn't see nothing. What's that lady say? I'm legally blind. I don't know. It, bitch, no. I don't know. I don't I, I don't care. <laughs> but as soon as the money get low, bitch, then I'm checking the phone. I'm looking for a reason to break up with your ass, because, bitch, no. What would your porn star name be? I think my porn star name would be Glizzy Gobbler. Baby, one thing about it, this throat is real deep. Like, that's the one thing the boys, they love. Like, bitch, they be pushing my head. Like, uh, and I don't have no reflexes. I don't throw up. Bitches be throwing up. Bitches, but I can't do it. No, bitch, I don't have no gag reflexes. <laughs> bitch, I be, bitch, baby. Okay, G glizzy gobbler. It, it go past my, I could really put the dick in my chest. The deeper the wallet, the deeper the throat, the, the harder I swallow. They be like, damn, bitch. They be like, mm, like shove my, I'm like, God, oh, God shit. <coughs> but <laughs> they love it. They love it. I feel like the back of your throat kind of got the same material as like your pussy. That's what somebody told me. They like, bitch, it feel like I'm fucking like, bitch, I think fucking my face. I'm just taking it. Okay, what's the brokest thing someone has done around you? I went to dinner with this nigga and he had the nerve to tell me that he was $50 short on a bill. The, the bill was like, 500 but he's like oh i got 450 like just pay the 50 extra dollars and you know i'm gonna pay you back when we get to the house i said um you don't got cash app he's like oh no no i don't have cash you don't have zelle oh no no i don't have you don't have venmo oh no, no i don't have you don't have apple pay oh no, no nigga what the hell i don't believe you now i don't trust you i don't trust you who the fuck don't have cash app who the fuck don't have fucking Zell? Like, nigga, do you even have a bank account? Like, no, hell no. You talking about coming to your house and you gonna get, I'm not coming to your house. You $50 short, but you gonna be $50 short over there too. Talking about, oh, just come inside. I'm, I'm gonna find the 50. Hell no, nigga, I don't trust that. And I didn't pay it. I said, babe, we gonna have to be washing some dishes today because I ain't got the 50. So the whole dinner, I felt like he was trying to keep the bill down. It was like, he was saying like, oh, you don't, you don't want this? You don't want, I'm like, no, I want this. He's like, oh, you don't like a uh, uh, salmon? No, nigga, I want the Wagyu. Are you sure it's, it's, um, uh, I'm like, I, I see, I see what it costs, nigga. I want crab legs too. So then he tried to keep his bill down. He ordered a salad. I'm, he talking about he wasn't that hungry. Nigga, nigga. He lucky cause I wanted to order a motherfucking gold steak. Oh, his motherfucking ass, bitch. He lucky. I felt the vibes though, so I said, okay, I'm not gonna over, overdo it, but I'm not, no, bitch, my time is very expensive. Bitch, if I go, I don't even like dates. I don't even like going to dinner. Bitch, if I take my time out and get dressed and put my makeup on and get in the car and drive to go to fucking dinner with you, bitch, I'm gonna eat what the fuck I want. And I'm not paying 50 fucking dollars. I don't care, no, I don't give a fuck. Bitch, he had to call his homeboy and tell him to cash, the bitch, cash at me and then I'll pay it. I ain't got it either, sir. We both ain't got it, sorry. Broke, 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 never talked to him again, blocked his number. 
Can your man know your password? Absolutely not. No, you cannot have my password. That's for your benefit. I mean, like, <laughs> baby, if you go through my phone, ain't it probably won't gonna be no phone, ain't gonna be no more relationship, ain't gonna be no nothing. I'm not saying I'm a cheater, but what I'm saying is the, like, I don't never delete shit from my old relationships. I, I got fucking pictures and videos from niggas that I haven't fucked since 2015. Probably, I mean, no man not gonna wanna see, you know what I'm saying? They bitch old nigga and they phoned and they probably like, oh, why you still got this? You still like that nigga? You still care about him? Like, no, bitch, I just, you know, I need collateral just in case. Bitch, I have to blackmail him. What if he get rich one day? What if he get married? I gotta be able to have the videos like, uh, baby, <laughs> what you wanna do? <laughs> I need the check or, Bitch, I'm in there, I got videos sucking dick and all, all type of shit. If my nigga go through my phone and see a video of me sucking another nigga dick, oh my God, he might have a fucking heart attack. What's the most toxic thing you've done? One time, <laughs> I don't know if I wanna tell the story. Oh gosh, just the most, like the most toxic, toxic thing I've ever done. So this one time I was fucking this nigga, right? And he was married. And um, basically I was asking him for, I don't remember what it was, but I wanted some money. I think I wanted a purse. And he was like, oh, all you want money, you don't ever want. I'm like, but you're married. And he was like, oh, it don't matter, but you like, you're supposed to like me for me and all this stuff. I'm like, listen, if you don't give me this purse, I'm gonna tell your wife. And <laughs> he was so mad, but I was like, listen, no, I'm telling. So you either gonna give me the purse or you getting divorced. Purse or divorce, pick one, okay? And he bought me the purse <laughs> and his wife still don't know. <laughs> What's the oldest you dated? Um, my ex was like 50 years old. I like old men, like sugar daddies. They be my favorite. Older men be usually more established. It's like they got their shit together. They, they old, you know what I'm saying? You know, when they see a young, fine thing, it's like, you know, they be ready to spend the check. I want you old, I want you with a, a cane, a walker, a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ready to, you ready to croak, bitch. That's what I like. I want you to leave me something in the will, okay? The older, the better. What is an instant turn off for you? That's easy, broke niggas. I hate broke niggas. <laughs> If you ain't got no money for me, it's like, I can't, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to date you. I don't want to like, and what, what I hate the most is a rich nigga that turn broke. It's like, I used to like you. What happened? You know what I'm saying? Like you stop giving me money. Then I'm noticing, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm, I don't like that. Broke nigga to me is not rich. When I say broke, I don't mean like you have $1 to your name. You got a nine to five, you right like you just regular, like a regular Joe Schmo. I like rich niggas, I like scammers, I like drug dealers, you know what I'm saying? I like football players, I like rappers, like I like a nigga that got like money. But also you can't be cheap. I don't like cheap niggas either. I hate cheap niggas. Like nigga be rich as hell and acting like you don't wanna give you money. Yep. It's like bitch, you might as well be broke. Do you fall in love fast? Yes, I do. I fall in love with money real fast. If you got some money and you give me money, nigga, I love you. Where you going? No, you my boyfriend. Oh, you ain't finna give me no money and then try to leave me. Uh-uh, mm -mm. I love me a little rich nigga. What's the craziest thing an ex has done? Oh my gosh, let me tell you this story because it's fucking crazy as fuck. He know I'm a gold digger and he know I love money and you know what I'm saying, I wasn't talking to him, whatever, I was mad at him for some reason. This nigga made a fake Instagram page, used somebody else's pictures with like a bunch of money and cars and jewelry and all this extra shit, slid in my DM, so mind you, you know, I go to Instagram, I'm like, okay, this nigga, I'm going through his Instagram, it's a rich nigga, I'm like, okay, cool, what's up? He like, oh, you know, let me take you out, blah, blah, I'm gonna come see you at the club later, cause you know, he know that's my weakness. I love a nigga that say, I I'm coming to see you at the club later, you get what I'm saying? Cause I know I'm gonna get some money. So he slid in my gym, whatever, he's, me and him texting back and forth, bitch, he gave me his number, we talking, we texting, what time you going to work, you know what I'm saying, let me come take you out, blah, 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 so I'm like, okay, yeah, we can meet at, um, let's go to Tizzy's real quick, have a drink, whatever, then we gonna go to the club. I pull up to motherfucking Tootsie's, 
And who the fuck do I see? My fucking ex. My ex! He said, oh, bitch, you wouldn't talk to me. I knew what I knew what to get you to come here. I knew what I knew what to do. I'm like, yo, you're fucking crazy. To be honest with you, I did. I did start back dating him, you know? When he pulled up the sissies, he did have like $5,000 and I was like, okay. <laughs> it's okay, babe, I forgive you, <laughs> you know? But it didn't last too much longer after that. I was just like, you know, you, it, it's just weird. It was, he was weird, he was weird. That was, that was crazy. Like I thought about that. Like every nigga that DM me after that, I'm like, trying to see how long they've been on Instagram. I'm trying to make sure like, okay, let me see what friends we have mutual. I'm trying to like, really like, it, it really fucked my game up. Cause now I look at Instagram different. I look at pages different. I'm like, let me see who you know, who I know. I'm asking people like, you know this nigga? Uh, what's the most expensive date you ever been on? Um, I went to Dubai. This nigga slid in my DM and he was like, you ever been to Dubai? And I was like, uh huh. No. <laughs> he was like, you wanna go? And I was like, shit, hell yeah. He's like, you got your passport? I'm like, nigga, I show sure motherfucking do. And the first time, I think the first time we met was at the airport. God, shit, that's a free trip. What the fuck, I'm gonna say no. Nigga, I wanna go to Dubai, what the fuck? What's the most slept on feature on a guy? Um, his wallet. People be like, oh, then what about his personality? Oh, like I hate when a bitch, I have a homegirl, right? She love fine niggas. She be like, girl, he's so fine. Girl, he's so fine. Girl, his dick so big. Girl, I be like, bitch, do he got money? I'm not in high school. I'm not fucking on nigga cause he fine. I could care less, bitch. I want the biggest, ugliest, ugliest, blackest bitch. That is, I don't care. What's the wallet look like? What does your bank account hold? Like what, what can you do for me financially? I don't care what you look like. I don't care how much you weigh. I don't care. What's the pettiest reason you ever cut someone off? Um, I ain't like the way they dressed. It was this thinker that I was fucking with and he had money too. He was real rich or whatever, but he just dressed so regular like I didn't want to be seen out in public with him because like even though he had money bitch I have a reputation to uphold I can't be outside with nobody that look but me and it's not like even like you need designer or like he just had no style like he really just used to be wearing like fucking this ugh no we out we 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 had salt bay and this how you came I tried to give him another chance I said babe you know let's dress up I told him let's dress up Bitch, and he still came looking bummy. I'm like, I like, like, you know, you got money, you cool or whatever, but no, I, I, I need, no. It's, it's a, no, I, no, I didn't like it. I just didn't like it. No, cause then I don't want nobody to think I'm outside with a broke nigga. Like I want y'all to know when you see me, you see rich. When you see me, you like, damn, this bitch always with a rich nigga. Like, I don't want you to even think in your mind that I got time for a broke nigga. So if I'm outside with a nigga that look broke, that's gonna lower my reputation. Don't come out with me with no motherfucking Adidas on. What's the best strip club in Miami? I'll say it's a tie between The Office and Booby Trap. The Office, Miami, that's the club I started working at. I love The Office. Man, they pasta. Ooh, baby, ain't nobody fucking with The Office pasta or the motherfucking wings of fries. But Booby Trap, Booby Trap is 24 hours. How do you beat that? Bitch, you could wake up at motherfucking seven o'clock in the morning and go to Booby Trap and bitch, go to a strip club. Like that's just unbeatable. Like bitch, any time of the hour, any hour of the day. I can go and see naked bitches. Like, that's amazing. Yo, it's your girl, Time in a Body, AKA DTP, AKA Disturb These Bitches, cause that's what the fuck I do. And we just wrapped it up with Trash Talk. Y'all make sure I check out my motherfucking interview, cause bitch, I be talking trash. Uh, potty mouth, period. <laughs>